Hey everybody, welcome to the Grievance Total Gaming Network streaming channel. I'm Set Zuko. I'm here with my wife, Aggie. Hi everybody. <laughs> and we are here today on this beautiful Sunday afternoon in Maryland to stream some Diablo 3. Uh, Diablo 3 has an expansion pack coming out in about a month. It comes out on March 25th, adds a new class and some other stuff, so... In anticipation of that, we're, we decided to do a Diablo 3 stream. Uh, we've started a brand new game. Uh, I'm playing a wizard, and Eggie is playing... A demon hunter. Yep, and uh, for this stream, we're going to focus on gameplay, so we'll be skipping the cutscenes and things like that. You know, we don't want to spoil anything for you guys if you decide that you want to pick it up and play it. For those of you that don't know, Diablo 3 is an action RPG. Um, there's tons of bashing monsters and tons of loot that we're going to be checking out, but we're going to try to keep things action oriented. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to get started. Uh, first things first, we're going to check out the skills that we have available real quick. So at the beginning of the game, you start out with two skills. You start out with a uh, a primary skill and a secondary skill, which are tied to your left and, mouse, left and right mouse buttons. So we can go in here and check out... Uh, actually, you start with one. This shoot one is a basic attack. So right now I've got a primary skill. My skill is called Magic Missile. It's a signature spell, so it's free for me to cast, and it launches a missile of magic energy, causing 125% weapon damage as arcane. And I can show it to you guys here. And that smaller one was my shoot wand. Yeah. Alright, Steph's going to tell us what she's got as a demon hunter. Alright, so starting out as a demon hunter, we have Hungering Arrow, and of course your basic ranged attack, since a demon hunter's main weapon is bows and such. Um, Hungering Arrow, it uses, well, demon hunters have two, kind of two types of mana, I guess you could say. They have Hatred, a fast regenerating source used to fuel the demon hunter's offensive abilities, and they have Discipline, a resource that generates slowly over time and is used for the tactical abilities. Um, Hungering Arrow, arrow um, it actually generates hatred, and it fires a magically imbued arrow that seeks out targets for 115% weapon damage and has a 35% chance to pierce through targets. Um, I'll demonstrate it here. And then, of course, I have just the basic range attack that does 2-3 to three weapon damage. Alright, so let's get going. We're going to smash some things. And uh, just in case, uh, the wizard resource is Arcane Power, which is a fast regenerating resource that is used for most wizard skills. Alright, so let's get... Just got some standard zombies here. They're pretty weak, pretty easy. I have journeyed here to find the fallen. All right, we are getting attacked by undead. Here we go. So like most games, we got the one skill, it's kind of like starting out with a wooden sword in an MMORPG. There's not a whole lot that you can do, but we'll level up pretty quick. Uh, you can see here, this bar is our experience bar, and uh, pretty much in this game, every time you level, for the most part, you get some sort of a, a new skill or an ability. Uh, 
head inside the inn here. Here's something in Diablo. You've got these books that you can pick up. And generally, if you pick up the book, um, you'll get some experience for that. Villagers were too afraid to settle near the ruins of the cursed town. Are you Leah? Rumpton said you I did. Came back. All right, here we go. This is killing business. Okay, so. As you can see, there's a bunch of gold that fell out on the ground that we picked up, and we also just leveled up. So we've got a new skill slot available. We got our secondary skill, which is the right-click button. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my skill. I've only got one available. It's called Ray of Frost. So Ray of Frost costs 16 arcane power down here, and it projects a beam of frozen ice that blasts 200% 280% weapon damage as cold to the first enemy it hits, slowing the target's movement by 60% for 4 seconds. So it's a good move to help me keep enemies away from me, seeing as how I'm a wizard and I'm squishy. So I'll demonstrate it. Cool ice beam. And what'd you get? Um, alright, for my secondary skill that's available now, I got Impale. It costs 25 Hatred, and it impales a target for 265% weapon damage. And I'll display it now. Ah, oh, cool. So you're, like, throwing knives. That's what it looks like to me, anyway. We'll go check out Leia's room, see if she's got anything in here. Yeah, got us a nice, another new journal. Cool. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith. The health of the dead will overwhelm us all. I will make it. Alright, so not to go into too much detail, but we're here in the town of New Tristam, which is being attacked by undead. And uh, basically we're kind of setting out to... Um, figure out what's going on and hopefully stop this undead invasion from happening. This guy over here is the merchant. Uh, we don't really I mean, we've got some money from some other characters, but we'll wait until we get a few quests done before we go mess with that. What can I do to help you fight the risen dead? I admire your courage. Thanks for the warning. Well, I have They're attacking the barricade. Alright, so I just picked up a piece of gear. Push the wrong button there. <clears throat> so I've got a cloth tunic. Go ahead and put that on, it just gives me a little bit of armor. Oh, before I forget, um, this game also, of course, starts you out with standard um, potions. Um, you can slot them easily for easy access to your Q button, that's where they start out slotted to, and of course there's also mana potions and all that, and bigger potions available later on in the game. And if you haven't guessed already, these little red orbs that fall on the ground will kill something, those are like little health pots that you can pick up and instantly heal with. So we've got these wretched mothers here, these, and they will um, spew up new monsters if you don't kill them quickly. Got some new shoes. Oh, that's a pretty good. A lemon armor. Okay, I picked it up pretty fast, but along with white title items, of course, there's items titled in different colors to represent their rarity. I actually just picked up a pair of reptilian gloves. They're magical gloves, and they regenerate one life per second and give me four armor. And you can see here I can inspect her. So she picked up a cloth tunic as well, and those are the gloves she was talking about. I can also see here... 
what her skills are that she has equipped. Um, we're picking up pretty much any items to drop. Um, we'll decide when we have a chance later which who needs what. My main stat is dexterity as a demon hunter, while my husband Tetsubo um, needs intelligence. And really, also, any items you don't use, you can always pick up to sell. And if you haven't noticed already, um, Diablo also tells you a lot of side stories as you go through the main story. Throughout as we're exploring, we're getting a lore icon in the lower right corner, and when you click it, it in the person's voice of whoever wrote like the lore or the journal or whatever you picked up, it pretty much like reads their journal and gives their first hand account of what's going on. Yeah, so most games like Diablo, there's some sort of you've got a big uh, sort of randomly or procedurally generated map, and uh, you basically, you can go straight to your objective, but if you look here, like this is the map. You kind of want to explore everything on the map because um, you want to kill as many things as you can and try to find treasure chests and stuff because these games are very heavily focused on gear. And so the better gear you have, the easier you can defeat the monsters and things like that. There's also rare spawns that randomly pop up and give you better gear, and hopefully we get a chance to show you one soon. And what I generally do when I'm playing is I, I stick to the outskirts of the map, and then I'll fill in the middle when I'm done. Alright, sweet. Clear out these mobs here, and then we will check out our new skills. Alright, did we get anything? Yep! Okay, so we got a new primary skill. I got Shock Pulse. Uh, it releases a medium range pulse of three unpredictable charges of electricity that deal. 150% weapon damage as lightning. So this is actually a little bit of a more close-up kind of skill for the wizard. As you can see, it doesn't go as far as uh, my other skill, but I think I'm going to use this one for a while and show you what it's like. Let's check out what Steph got. Alright, for my next skill, it took the slot of my left mouse click. Um, it's called Entangling Shot. It generates three hatred, like Hunger and Arrow. Um, it does a little less damage, it seems, but it, Im it imbues an arrow with shadow energy that deals 90% weapon damage and entangles up to two enemies, slowing their movement by 60% 60, 60 for two seconds. Alright, so you also can find these little uh kind of like mini dungeons so we're gonna go into the dank cellar and see what's in here there's lots of destructible objects uh, in diablo and most games like this and you can see right here we've got sarkoth hoarder of treasure and he is a purple colored mob which means he's um a unique and he's stronger than most of the mobs we've fought in up to this point so we'll see how it goes we're on normal difficulty so it shouldn't be too bad all right you can see he dropped a whole bunch of stuff And he dropped a boat, which, depending on stats, would probably be more useful for me. Oh, I did pick it up. Um, I got uh, picked up the Keen Short Bow of Angels. Um, it's a magical bow. It does 10.7 damage per second compared to my currently equipped one, which only does 3.0. Um, it does 
plus one to three holy damage, increases my attack speed by two percent. And it's definitely a huge increase in damage for me. There you go. And you guys can see that there. So that, yeah, that's a significant jump for her. I actually also picked up a uh, blue weapon here. I got a magic mace, which increases my damage compared to my wand. And uh, it also does 1 to 3 arcane damage. The cool thing about arcane damage is on a critical, arcane damage will has a chance to silence targets. And it also gives me some damage dealt to is converted to life. And the thing about Diablo is that all of your abilities that you use are based off your weapon damage. So um, the stronger your weapon is, the more damage your skills are going to do, not just your basic attacks. So Steph just dropped some gloves, so I'm going to pick those up. And I don't really have anything she can use because her bow is a two-handed weapon, so she couldn't use the shield. And she doesn't want a wand or a dagger either because her bow is obviously better. So that was just a small mini dungeon, so we're going to pop back out and go over the area again. And obviously as the game moves on, there's pros and cons to using a two-handed weapon or a one-handed weapon. And um, while it is a decrease in damage, I am going to keep entangling shot just because neither of us is um, a tanky or melee type character, so the extra um, CC will come in handy. Well, this time we've got a damp cellar. Oh, ambush. So you can see this lightning ability it doesn't have the same range as my other one, but uh, it hits pretty hard. So pretty much anything that gets really close to me is going to it's going to get obliterated by that. So let's go ahead and we will go this way. Check out what's down here. And I know it looks like we're melting everything, but that's because we're on normal difficulty. This game does get significantly more difficult later in the game and also uh, on the higher difficulties. Now, if you didn't notice me attacking the um, pumpkins, there are some items that, like the scarecrow was also, there are some items that are, or objects that will be interactable with, and sometimes they'll drop items or money if you get lucky. Like this tree stump. So I'm actually going to switch back, I think, to my other skill for now because uh, at this point I don't really need a short range uh, primary skill. So I'm going to go ahead and switch Shock Pulse back to Magic Missile. Okay, we're gonna head back up. We got that all cleared. And you can't see it because it came up in my screen and not Setsuko's, but throughout the game you can get different um, objectives, which are kind of like achievements. Like, I just destroyed um, six objects at once, so it popped up that I had completed the objective of destruction, and there's of course different tiers and levels of objectives. So like I said, right now we're melting these guys. It's pretty easy. We're high damage uh, classes, but we're very low defense classes. So we're going to run into some mobs that are going to give us a lot of trouble later on. Chaos 
everywhere. This is true. Got a purple mod there. Yeah, she was a she was a purple mob. So you see, I picked up a bow here, but I already know it's not any better than hers. So I'll keep it. But uh, do you have boots? Did you get some boots yet? I picked up superior boots, which are ten armor. Okay, mine are a lot worse. So I'll just hang on to those. All right. So as you can see, this is our objective here. Um, but we're gonna go ahead. We've still got some of the map to clear here. Keep getting all these swords. And you guys, uh, you know, let us know. Um, we'll check in on Twitch comments and stuff every now and then. But, um, if you want us to let, you know, the music files that we pick up play, or if you want to watch the cutscenes or something like that, let us know. You know, this is our first stream, so we just wanted to focus on the game and the gameplay for now. But I know that the dialogue and stuff can be pretty interesting. We just wanted to start out with no spoilers. As much as we can help. I uh, just picked up some pants, six armor. Do you need those? Uh, mine are actually eight. Okay. That's a no. Oh, there's all these tunics up here from the mobs you killed. Alright, cool. I think, uh, I think we've got everything there, so we'll go over to our objective. Oh, she found something. Some gold. You want to pick up all the gold that you can, because you want to be able to buy those those items, and uh, you'll see some other stuff later on uh, where you need to spend gold. Okay, so we use the old ruins waypoint, and now we're gonna go back to New Tristan, and we're pretty close to leveling up. So maybe we'll do it when we turn in this quest. Thank you for your help, but could you talk? Nor should. She Ooh, almost. So you'd say we finished the quest, we got some gold, we got some XP. It's cool. Come, let us search for your uncle. We'll need to open the Alright. So we're not gonna talk to this guy yet, because technically you shouldn't have him yet. Um, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna check out the merchant. See what he's got. So first off, we can definitely um, sell all of these things that we got here that we're not using for some gold. And then we could check and see if there's anything that we want to buy that's going to significantly increase our damage or our stats. Uh, the thing about this is like, okay, for, so this sword, for instance, here, um, it might be something I'd consider, but, you know, I don't want to spend 1,700 gold on something that's not a huge upgrade. But here, if we check out armor, we can see that there's some blue things in here. There's a, a blue belt, chest piece, gloves, pants, and all my stuff is, is gray quality right now. So maybe I want to pick something up. So as a wizard, I'm primarily looking for intelligence. Um, at this point in the game, though, it's kind of like a, you know an MMO. You kind of put on whatever you can that has more than armor on it. But uh, there's actually not too much here that I think I'd want to pick up. Um... I could pick up these gloves for the vitality and some attack speed, but I think I'm just going to hang on to my money for now. I actually went ahead and bought the pants just because it's two extra dexterity. Which is a uh, good stat for her. Like she said, that's her primary stat. So this little asterisk symbol above this guy's head just means that he has something to say that we haven't heard yet. But uh, that guy actually is the PvP guy. There's PvP in Diablo 3. I personally haven't messed with it much, but uh, you can talk to him and go to a PvP arena. But we're going to proceed on.
with the story and go to the old roots and level up really soon. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. Alright, did you level up stuff? Not yet. Oh, we have a chest here. Okay, we'll wait till she levels up and then we'll check out skills. Should be pretty soon. Uh, I've picked up some purple pants if you want them. Uh, sure. They're adventuring cloth pants, and they give you, um, extra EXP. Cool, so that's one more armor, and now I get a little bit of extra experience for killing monsters. So we're going into the hidden cellar. We're uh, escorting Leia here. Hmm, this doesn't look like a trap at all. Another purple mob. Alright, so let's check out what's in this chest real quick. See if you got anything over here. Stuff. I got some boots here. They've got less armor, but they added some movement speed, so I think I'm gonna put those on. And let's check out our new skills. So we unlocked a action bar skill. For me, it's a defensive skill. So I unlocked Frost Nova, which blasts nearby enemies with an explosion of ice and freezes them for three seconds. So I'll show you guys that. So now we got some stuff here. One, two, three, four, a couple of skills down here. So this is Frost Nova. All right. And for my first skill, this is the first one I've gotten that costs me discipline. So it's a tactical skill. Um, it costs six discipline. It's called Caltrops, and it lays a trap of Caltrops on the ground that activates when the enemy approaches. Once sprung, the Caltrops slow the movement of enemies within 12 yards by 60%, and the trap lasts six seconds. So I've played a, I've played it even 100 to 15, and this is a really, really good kiting skill. Here's the key. And my mother's jewel. Thank you. Last night. All right, another quest complete. In his troubled heart, I consoled him as best for a long time. This is what I don't know. How did your mother die, Uncle Deckard? So basically, we um, came down here to search for our mother. I'm gonna see if I can get in here and use that frost nervous skill for you. See, that skill is pretty powerful, but it uses a lot of my arcane power. Where'd you go, Steph? Uh, there is some gold you forgot. Oh, okay. I'll wait for her to come back up. So you see, we've also got this buff here, Strength in Numbers, with uh, increased magic find, gold find, and experience for each additional player in a multiplayer game. So we actually are getting a bonus because we're playing together. So now we've got to go to the Cathedral for the Legacy of Cain, which is uh, kind of funny. Blizzard and their puns, which just makes me think of... Uh, Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver. Okay. 
So the cathedral is right there. That's where we want to go, but obviously we want to check for extra stuff like this stump. 17 gold I got from that. So this is the bread and butter of Diablo and games like it. We are now in an actual, not a mini dungeon, but a, kind of like a full on dungeon with levels. You can see up here we're at Cathedral level one. So there's actually multiple floors to this cathedral and we're gonna see some new mobs in here and uh, hopefully some tougher enemies. So here's a fatty. So these guys actually explode. I tried to use my frost over there, but it was on cooldown, so <laughs> couldn't do it. You see, a good thing to do would be to let Steph initiate with her uh, chain stuff to slow them, stop them with that trap. The cool thing is, she can slow those mobs down with their trap as well. Now those little worm things, if they get really close to me, that'd be a good time for me to have that uh, lightning skill. And I think I might actually take that because it's good for multiple mobs compared to single mobs. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that skill and try it out some more. These are purple mobs, that's why they're tough. <laughs> I was like, they should have been dead by now. Did you realize they were purple mobs? Yeah. Aren't you gonna use that shield? Uh, we pick up different stuff, so... What you see on your screen is for you to pick up, and what's uh, on my screen is for me to pick up. So I actually picked this up. I don't know if you want to use that. Mm. No, my current bow actually does a lot more damage. Well, you could still pick it up. So as yeah. you see, like we have separate loot tables, so the unique items and stuff like that, they drop all for me and all for her, but we can easily drag something out, and then anybody can pick it up. And she just gave me this awesome shield, 44 more armor. Uh, the chance the block's a little bit lower, but it blocks more, and it has 8 strength, which uh, I don't really need, but strength does increase my armor, uh, so that's good. I'm gonna go see if there's anything for me to pick up in this room. There was. I'll show you a new lore thing here. disease has taken hold in this land. So yeah, as you can see, it's just somebody talks about what's going on in the level. It's pretty cool. Alright, what do you think, Steph? Do we keep heading this way or take that other branch? I'm good either way. Alright, let's keep going. And we got a new record, Massacre. Um, our new record is 10 kills in a row. So 
So there's a pretty good chance that you have to backtrack in games like this. That was bad. Be careful, Steph. If you're in that explosion radius, you'll take damage. Quick check on the inventory here. Let's see if we got anything. Nope, not really. Okay, so you can see we kind of did a little bit of backtracking there. We've still got two or three areas here to go over, so uh, I think we'll do this left hand corner. Does that sound good? Mm hmm. So this is a shrine. These shrines give you uh, a temporary buff. Uh, this frenzied shrine, shrine in particular, I believe it uh, increases your at attack speed and maybe makes you do some more damage. Yeah, so Frenzied, it gave us a 25% attack speed bonus, so definitely want to use those when you've got them. See, we're starting to run into some uh, instances where we have a lot more mobs than we had before. So the cool thing about those exploding monsters is if you uh, get them to explode near other enemies, they'll actually do damage to those enemies. So, I leveled up. Did you level up, Steph? Yep. Okay, cool. Why don't you go ahead and go over your skill this first this time. Okay, it looks like besides Impale, I have another option for my secondary skill. This one's called Rapid Fire, fire and for um, 
It costs 20 hatred, hatred initially and an additional 6 hatred while channeling, and I can rapidly fire for 430% weapon damage as physical damage. Why don't you uh, equip that? Then I can show people on my screen too. Now one moment. Machine gun, bro. Cool, and I got a new secondary called Arcane Orb. Hurls an Arcane Orb of pure energy that explodes when it hits, dealing 200% weapon damage as Arcane to all enemies within 10 yards. Let's give that a look. Need more time. That's pretty sweet looking. All right, let's keep going. So we can see on the map that glowing yellow circle, that's where we want to go. So what we actually want to do is go to the other places first and get everything in this level and then come back before we proceed to the next spot. So we're gonna backtrack a little bit and fill in some of these missing areas. With any luck, we'll face a really strong boss and get some cool items from this. So did you decide to stick with Rapid Fire, or are you going to use the, uh, the other skill, Impale? I'm going to stick with Rapid Fire. It's pretty sweet. Down here we've got a healing well. Let's see if anything pops up here. Nope, just got a bunch of gold. So these healing wells are cool. You use them and they heal both characters, or all characters, back to full health. Also those healing orbs that we were using earlier, they will heal all characters in the party, so uh, it's not selfish to grab them. <laughs> So I'm going to use my orb on the next group. You don't kill everything first. <laughs> cool, we got a treasure chest back there. Exceptional, an exceptional simple dagger. This seems like a contradiction. So you can see here on the map, we've actually filled out everything except for what was in the direction that we need to go to get to the next uh, part of the story here. So now we're just going to head back that way and we'll probably go to Cathedral Level 2. We're looting the corpses of all these dead people. to the Oryx Passage. Alright, 
we gotta save this dude, so let's do it. Sweet, so that was another purple guy. Got us some loot. Alright, so I picked up a new belt, same armor. It's got some life regen per second though, that's cool. So we'll toss that on. Did you get anything good, Steph? I got a cloth tunic, it had the same armor, but it also it regenerates two life per second. Sweet. Alright, we're just gonna clear out the area here. the old dude and now we're going back to new Tristan. Hi. Uncle, you're alive. Thank oh, time. Not I have spent most of my what life you... convinced. What did you discover? She was she was in the skeleton king we you're at the king. Should not dismiss this. I am the weak and the first I have if I Alright, so now we gotta go let's go over here to the vendor again. See, usually uh they get new items after you do the major quests. So we'll check for some new stuff. There's also another vendor we can get to now, so that's cool. Alright, sold off all the junk. Let's take a look here. Uh, don't want any of those weapons. I've dug up some new things for you to take a look at. Those are some do you have the gathering cloth pants of the hawk stuff? Is that can you purchase those? I have the scouting cloth pants of the hawk. I'm gonna buy those pants. They got. Oh, those yeah. pants are better than the ones I have. <laughs> and then you can take those. Do you have anything with any intelligence in your shop? No, I don't. What about weapons? No, I'm sorry. It's okay. We've got another shop guy to talk to. You said Diablo. What happened? Right, I'm gonna go back in here. There's usually another book in here somewhere. Back at his home, rescued from the clutches of the skeleton king. Alright, let's go talk to this shop guy over here. He's got some stuff. You'll take good care of whatever I sell you. What uh, what gloves did you get? Um, I'm just wearing superior gloves, which are seven armor and then also plus three. Plus three armor? Yeah. Alright, I've got some gloves of the hawk here. I can give you. Mm. 
Who sold those? Uh, this guy. Over here. Some other merchant. There's one down here too, the fence. He usually has some pretty good items. Did you get the magic chest armor from him? I know it will be different. Uh, I don't think I had that available. I'll double check. Now I've got a oh I've got a mending I've got a focus thing here with four intelligence. This is the one you got better? Um I have mending cloth tunic of phone focus. Yeah, I got the same thing. You wanna buy that for me and drop it. Awesome. And this guy down here is Radic the Fence. Let's see what he's got. Oh, there's a three dexterity belt that I've got here. I have that as an option too. Oh, there you go. Oh, he's got a. Oh, that's a seven intelligence bow. I think yours is probably better, huh? Mm hmm. Oh, well, he's got rings, but we gotta be level six. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy two of them now, I think. I'm gonna hold off, because those aren't good for me. Yeah, I just got the five intelligence rings, so those are definitely good for me, so I wanna get them while he has them. Alright, so, looks like we're going to another cellar. This one's the cellar of the damned. <laughs> I think I'm going to switch back to Magic Missile and Ray of Frost. Murdered. So I got a uh, short bow, which I'm sure you don't want, and I got a crossbow. It does 10.4 damage, but doesn't have any stats. No. I only got um, a vampiric simple dagger of flame, which increases fire damage, but and does 9.8 damage. Ooh, I'll take that. Yeah, mine does uh, 7.8 damage per second. So fire damage has a chance to add a dot on critical hit. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. Do you need bracers? Um, I have one that's only 8 armor though. Yeah, that's what I just picked up. Pants, you, you got those dexterity pants, right? Mm
So we're out here at the Weeping Hollow, we're trying to find the Cemetery of the Forsaken, and it looks like we have a purple mob. I'm gonna get this Fortune Shrine. That increases our magic find, which we definitely want when we fight a purple mob. Okay, so let's see here. I got some bracers. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Here you go, Steph. You can have these. I didn't get anything that would be useful for you. Oh, and did you level? I level. I can put these rings on now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's check. Let's. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep going so we can use this. Uh, Magic find buff, and then when that wears off, we'll take a look at our new skills. these guys out and then our magic fine buff is gone so we will check out our, our new skills. Looks good to me. Nope. They just keep coming. Alright, so we didn't get a new skill this time, but we got a rune. So in Diablo, you've got your skills, and each skill has five different runes available that will augment that skill or change it somehow. So I got a rune for Magic Missile, which is my main skill that I've been using. And my rune says launch, let's see, uh, charge blast increases the damage of magic missile to 160 weapon damage as arcane. So nothing too exciting, just, um, you know, that's 35 or so, 37% more damage. So I'll go ahead and equip that. And we'll take a look at what Steph has. If you just go ahead and equip it and then tell us what it is. Um, Alright, I got a rune called Puncturing Arrow for Hungering Arrow, and it increases the chance for the arrow to pierce to 50%. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put Entangling Shot back on, though, since I'm RCC. I found a chest up here.
come full circle back to the beginning, so now we'll just go back in and figure out what was in the middle. Hopefully we'll find like a cool mini dungeon or another uh, purple mob or something like that. Let's try to kill those dog things first because they're fast. Definitely tell that we're high DPS classes. It's half the time either I kill it before you can hit it or you kill it before I can hit it. It's gonna get it's gonna get tough eventually because um, we're probably gonna have to do a lot of hiding. But not right now. Probably won't get tough until we get to the first major boss. of you. That's a pretty good combo. I freeze him, you wrap the fire. Looks like we explored this whole area then. Yeah, I think you know you might be able to switch your primary skill if you want. So 
Well, I mean, for now, I can always frost Nova them if they get close to us. Alright. Search these cemeteries. Try to find the shattered crown. What do you think of the Demon Hunter so far? I like it. It's got a lot of CC. And I like its AOE abilities. You're gonna love the grenades then. Um, I picked up a purple shield. Let's see. It's... I am actually full. Oh, it's 51 armor and 13 to 8 block amount, 13 to 18 block amount, 4% better chance of finding magical items. Um, how much armor? 51. Mm, I'll keep the one I got. You can pick that up if you have room. I thought we could use a town portal. Uh, what we can do actually is we can go back out of the crypt real quick and portal back to town with that portal and sell stuff. Okay. So you've got some dexterity gloves, right? Yes. Oh, make sure you keep your uh, blue items. I think we can talk to this guy now. I have bad news, friend. Your apprentice has died. Fool. Yeah, so you can uh, talk to this guy over here. He's a blacksmith. And uh, he does a few different things. You can salvage items. For crafting mats and then you can also make you stuff so I've got a lot more stuff here available because my other characters have leveled this guy up you can see that you can train him my guy's level 5 at the moment um, so you can actually look in here and check out the different 
weapons and armor that he can make. So I'm going to see if maybe he can make a magic wand for me. So I've got a wand, level 6, 9.8 damage, plus 2 random magic properties. That's not really much better than the one that I have, so I'm going to hold off. check for some armor here. Level 10. I can get some boots. Level 5. Let's see. I can, you know, I've got... It looks like I might be able to get some good boots, but I'm going to hold off and keep my craft. So this is the stash. It's full of whatever you put in here from your other characters. All right, you ready to go back? So the new class for, or the other classes in this game, um, obviously she's a demon hunter, I'm a wizard. There's a barbarian, which is a big huge warrior who smashes the crap out of things and can be a pretty decent tank. There's also a monk, who's a melee combatant. Does a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat stuff, uh, can heal does a lot of uh, rapid attacks. And there's a witch doctor who does all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh, here we go, we got some purple monsters. Nice. Um, I got a uh, belt. You Did you buy that dexterity belt? Yeah, I have the dexterity belt. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, the witch doctor does all kinds of stuff, like summons frogs, uh, zombies. It's just crazy. Ooh, this should be fun. This is a uh, event. Here we go. We gotta survive for a whole minute. Back into your corner. You gotta come save me. Well, that was crazy. That was fun. both leveled up, so that's sweet. I picked up a magic dagger, does 10.5 damage per second, and gives you plus 2 to 4 arcane damage. I will take it. 
That's better than what I got. I gave you some bracers already, right? I've got a 9 armor, 3% better chance of finding magical items. Mm -hmm. Mine are monster kills grant plus 4 experience, but yours might be better. No, well, either way, you can take them and whatever you want. Do you have a chess piece with stats on it yet? Uh, yeah, but it's only 3 armor and only gives me 2 life per second. Mm. Try that out. I've got four intel, so I'm gonna keep mine. I got some uh, 17 armor boots, or do you have boots? I have boots. Okay. Uh, do you want this 21 armor leather hood? Uh, sure, I picked one up, but it only has six armor. Cool. Let's check out our new skills. Okay, so it looks like we got a rune for our first secondary skill. So for mine, it's called Numb, and obviously Ray of Frost. Still waiting. So this Numb. Increases the amount the target's movement speed is slowed to 60% for 4 seconds instead of, or sorry, to 80% instead of 60%. So I got um, a rune called Impact for Impale, and it makes it so that Impale causes a knockback and has a 65% chance to stun enemies for 1.5 seconds. That's really good to use on... Uh on bosses. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's go back first. I'm pretty sure the exit is over here somewhere, so we'll go check out this area first. Oh, come snare him. This is a treasure bandit. If you can kill them before they escape, they drop all kinds of stuff. Sweet. Yeah, the treasure bandit will, uh, he'll run from you and uh, he'll try to escape into a portal. The good thing is we have a lot of snares, so he couldn't get away. So let's check out, did you get anything? I got a Mending Charge Shield of Thorns, which gives 52 armor, melee attackers take 1 damage per hit, and health globs and potion grant plus 12 life. Mm, I'll take that. What'd you pick up? Is that better than what you have? Nah, I don't think so. I'm gonna hold on to it to salvage at least. You know, the exit was all the way over here. <laughs> but it looks like these connect, hopefully. So, might not have to run as far.
Sorry for the lack of music, everyone. Keeping the music off to hopefully avoid any issues with YouTube pulling the video or anything like that. So that was a fleeting shrine that gives us increased movement speed, as you can tell, I'm sure. like that's it so uh, head to the exit We're going to head back to town. We're going to stop the stream for here. Or for now, it's, it's been about an hour, a little bit longer or so. Uh, so we're stopping here. We've got to go back and search some more cemeteries. We are, what are we, almost level 8? Yep, we're almost level 8. So we will be streaming again. If you guys are interested in joining us in Diablo, uh, we've got room for some more party members. Just uh, all we ask is, you know, if you want to play with us, just go ahead and catch up to us or make a character around our level, and then you can contact either myself or Eggy on the forums. Um, you can find us under Sezuko or Eggy. Just send us a PM if you want to join in. Uh, obviously, we're going to keep streaming, 
and uh, hopefully when the uh, expansion pack comes out we'll be streaming that as well so thanks for joining us if you managed to catch us on here I know it was unannounced and um, if not then hopefully you are enjoying this on YouTube later on so we're just going to finish up here sell some stuff uh, disenchant some stuff and then you will be done take those boots oh nice I crafted them oh okay See you next time, guys.